today I'm going to show you my version of bread pudding. It's creamy. It's like la chaflan. You won't see any uh, bread cubes. You'll see it as very smooth and very creamy. Let's get started. Here are the ingredients. 300 to 350 grams of old bread cut into cubes. If you want a softer bread pudding, use less bread. If you want a firmer one, use more bread. Four whole eggs, one teaspoon vanilla. One big can evaporated milk. One big can condensed milk. For the caramel, three fourths cup white sugar, three fourths cup hot water. This is very easy. This is a one mix recipe. I have here uh, old bread. Every time I have extra bread, I stick it in the freezer and then I take it out and make bread pudding. All right. Then we add evaporated milk. If you don't have evaporated milk, you can use a combination of half evaporated milk and half all-purpose cream. We have condensed milk. You have vanilla. Four whole eggs. Let's soak the bread cubes here in the milk mixture for about 10 to 15 minutes while we make the caramel. All right. Let's make the caramel. There are several ways you can caramelize sugar. You can caramelize sugar directly into the mold or you can caramelize it in a pan like this and once, once you got the caramel syrup, you pour it into the mold. Some also caramelize their sugar together with the water. What I do is I melt the sugar first, I caramelize the sugar and then I add hot water. Either way, you think you're co more comfortable with, you can do so. First, in my style, first I put the sugar. I heat the sugar until it starts to melt and then once it starts to melt, I swirl it. I don't stir it so the sugar does not crystallize. Here you can see the sugar is starting to caramelize, see? So what you do is, I lower the heat a little bit and then I just swirl the pan to make sure that it does not burn. I don't stir it with a spoon or a spatula because when you do that, you will form sugar crystals, all right? They will eventually dissolve completely, but it will take more time. This method is easier, so easier and faster also. Here, it's almost completely melted now. If you melt or caramelize this directly in the mold, once it's melted completely and caramelized, you don't need to add water. The reason we add water is for, uh, there are times when you need to caramelize a lot of pans. It's easier and faster if you caramelize it in one pan and then divide it into the baking pans. And then to be able to do that, you have to add water because remember the caramel sets very quickly. The moment it cools down, it's going to set. With the water, you will buy a little time, right? So see, at this point, you just probably have uh, one or two teaspoons of sugar. You can now put this in the molds. But I will show you the one with the water, okay? Once you have, well, you know, this is like 90 98%, well, it's melted now completely. We will add hot water. Okay, once you add hot water, you will notice that the caramel will become thick again. Do not worry, you boil this until this sugar see is melted and then the liquid is syrupy and then 
So like if you want to caramelize small muffin pans to make individual molds of leche flan, this is the procedure you should do. Because the syrup or the, what, the addition of the water will buy you time. So you have more time to spread them out or distribute them. All right. Once you add the water, you can stir it. If you don't want to stir it, it's fine. Just lower the heat. You don't want to burn the sugar. One recipe of the bread pudding will fit three pieces of a six by three by two loaf pan. Since I'm making two recipes, I have here six. So if you want to make two recipes, you just double everything. Here you can see it's sticky and syrupy now. So we're going to divide this. Again, I'm making six because I'm making double recipe. I just want to make use of all my leftover bread. But the recipe I gave you is good for one, all right? So what you do is you just swirl this. See? You will notice that I have uh, more than enough caramel because this bread pudding is not very sweet. So let's go back to our bread pudding. In the traditional bread pudding, this is how it would look like and then you put it directly into the caramel lined baking pan. So I'm going to put it in the blender so it's very fine. You don't see any of the bread cubes once it's uh, done. It would look like leche flan. All right. Let me put this in. If you have a small blender, you can divide the mixture into two and blend it one at a time. Blend it until it's very fine. Let me check. Yes, it's very fine now. See? Okay. All right. I have here a 320 degree oven. All right, let's put this in. And then we will bake this bain marie. So we pour warm water or hot water until the level of the custard. All right. You don't need to cover it. I have many recipes to share with you. If you're interested, please like, share, subscribe, and click the notification bell so you can be alerted when a new video is uploaded. All right, here's our bread pudding after 45 minutes. See, it's firm. And then we will uh, cool this down and then we'll unmold it once it's cold, all right? See, it's like uh, cooking the cheflan. Okay? I have cooled down the pudding now. All right, let's remove this. This has already cooled down. So you pass a spatula around the sides. It's just like when you remove your leche flan. Oops, it's coming out. Here. All right, I will slice it. I will show you. how smooth it is see 